I think as we communicate um, with you know all of our wine club members and the public about who we are as winemakers and this debate about intelligent design, this debate about you know at the end of the day, is wine all about science or does wine really have a soul? And I'd like to believe that it does have a soul. Um, there's lots of evidence on both sides to say it's all about science, and lots of evidence to say, hey, there's, there's a lot of factors, supernatural, um, uh, divinity um, that are involved in creating better and better wines. But uh, you know, I believe that it's a combination of not only us as, as human beings, but also the, um, the higher powers uh, at will that uh, influence our ability to make great wines year after year. I agree. And if you look at a bottle of wine, a bottle of wine from the time it's picked to the time its last drop is poured into the glass is a living, breathing thing. And I've always believed that a living, breathing thing, regardless of the scope and the size of it, has a soul. I am pop, a French word meaning pope. I am the contradiction, the paradox, the dichotomy. Reflecting the eternal debate, did we evolve or were we created? Hard science or divine intervention? Hi, I'm Jim Slope. I'm Jason Welch. I'm with Wesley Ashley Wines. Well, we've got a question for you. Is wine all about science? Or does wine have a soul? You decide.